Good evening, everyone. In 1999, having just started to write, I was incredibly lucky to work with Don Mackay while he was the poetry director and mentor for the Banff Center's writing studio. Among the poems that had become very important to me were some of Don's early poems that set in motion the wonder of defamiliarization. The speaker of Fridge Nocturne, for example, lying awake while sleep is off somewhere tinkering with its motorcycle, listens to the humming fridge, the old armless weeping willow of the kitchen. In their enlivening of experience on every level, Dawn's poems were and are hopeful to me. They demonstrate, among other things, that the heart and intellect, intuition and technique are inseparable. To adapt a term applied by his dear friend and fellow basketball aficionado, Stan Dragland, Dawn has, through 14 collections of poems, bewildered us. That is, his work invokes the wilderness in experience, the unknown element in the familiar compound. His poems rewild our relationship with others, with language, and with ourselves. But Mackay, as Dragland writes, is no romantic. He knows that language cannot collapse the distance between ourselves and other people, other beings, other things. Rather, Dragland writes, he engineers controlled breakdowns. The poem's namings foreground the effort of naming and thus our desire to make sense of what resists our efforts, what exceeds our efforts to pin down and categorize. The poems remain live questions. Don's latest collection, Lurch, begins with a poem titled Lyrix, which is the Latin name for a larch tree, a deciduous conifer. Though each autumn I anticipate their shift, the speaker says, each year somehow I'm surprised, as when a chorister steps forward to become a star. There is an ethics in this surprise, this openness to astonishment, but it's not necessarily easy either to sustain Strength lies here, particularly in difficult times. Remaining open to being surprised, to being changed, requires perseverance, flexibility, and respect. Dragland refers to Mackay's poems and collections as flexible structures, and whether they ramble through an encounter or occupy a still point of focused attention, the poems, in their freedom of form, allow a glimpse of their subject's formal integrity. In Plantation from the collection Nightfield, it is inertia inside motion as the stone inside the cherry. The birds of chickadee encounter, from apparatus, live also at their own speed. Okay, 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 here they come, the tidbits, the uppers, animating the brambles. Mackay's poems are an example of how poetry does philosophy. In their interdisciplinarity of reference and register, in which whimsy, and gravitas, the scientific and historical, the documentary and the conjectural can occupy the same poem, there is no hierarchy. There is no separation of nature from culture, the artificial dichotomy that has done so much harm. 
always there is the forward momentum of curiosity. His essays, likewise, are not genreless so much as genre full, searching, shifting, and refusing the imposition of a last word. One can see this ethics in his practice as a mentor. My experience at the BAMP Center has remained the gold standard of engaging with a writer's work in progress, and one I've tried to emulate. Don's ability to approach a poem on its own terms, to see the potential in it, and to express that potential is one that I think many people in this room have benefited from. And it's tempting to ask for a show of hands. In addition to two Governor General's Awards for Poetry, a Griffin Poetry Prize, a Dorothy Livesay Prize, among other honors, Don was named a member of the Order of Canada in 2008. Please join me in welcoming him as the recipient of the 2024 Griffin Trust Lifetime Recognition Award. Thank you.